Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I thank my good friend for yielding, and I thank him for his remarkable leadership in this important debate. Seven years ago, I was on this floor, and I heard that uh, if you liked your plan, you could keep it. I heard if you liked your doctor, you could keep that doctor. And I heard that health care costs were going to drop by $2,500 per family. None of it was true. I sit here now and look at my state, and I know what's happening next year. The rates on the Obamacare exchanges are going up by 69 percent. We are down to a single provider. That's what seven years ago brought us. Today, we've got a chance to do something different, and everybody from my state will do something different. They'll vote for a plan that actually does what it says it's going to do. Number one, they'll be able to actually have plans that are designed by Oklahomans, not by bureaucrats in Washington, D.C. They'll be able to have a tax credit if they're not already insured under Medicaid or Medicare or in, a, in the, on their employer. They'll be able to have an individual tax credit to uh, purchase a plan that they design that they like. Uh, they'll be free of the mandates of Obamacare, free to make their own decisions, free of the mandates that uh, require them to buy insurance products that they simply don't need. I've got a lot of people in my district that are in their 50s and 60s. Some of them might like to have children again, but they're not likely to have children again, and they mostly don't want maternity care. So it's a pretty simple choice for us. It's a choice to be free, make our own decisions. It's a choice to design our own plans. It's a choice to have federal assistance where we need it, uh, and, but to be used under our direction. Easy choice. So I urge the passage of this rule. I urge the passage of the underlying legislation. Thank my good friend again for his terrific leadership. Yield back, Mr. Speaker.